Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today, Mina and I are doing a little mini collab. We didn't really plan it out. I was talking to her. Um, I've got a friend that I've got to do a commission piece and I keep testing some colors. And um, so she gave me an idea to try to do the sandwich pour or the marbling pour that uh, you see Jeremy do with uh, Massey Art Studios. And so, um, my friend's got these colors from a picture that she wants a piece to, uh, well, she wants three pieces. She's got a huge wall, so they're going to be 24 by 36, and she's going to put them all horizontally end to end. And so uh, the colors that I'm going to use, I'll show you the picture. So I'm trying to test out the colors and test out different pores to give her something that she's going to like to be, go up on these giant pieces. So um, I talked to Mina, and she told me to try out the marbling pour. And I did, and it came out fantastic. And so she said, you know what? I'm gonna do one too, and we'll do a little mini collab. So that's what we're doing today. So um, I'm very excited about the piece. So let's get down on the canvas, we'll get started. Be right back. All right, so what I've got is a 16 by 20 gallery wrap canvas. What I'm gonna do is layer this cup and we'll do a flip cup and then tilt it out. So what I'm only gonna need about 11 ounces of paint on this. So I'm gonna use the 16 ounce cup. So I'm only gonna do it partial of the way up. So let's pour some white in here. And now I could just drizzle some of the Prussian Payne's mix. My friend really likes gold. She wants gold to be very prominent in the piece. And so I'm going to put that along with the pink. Just a touch of this antique bronze. Nothing major. It's a little thick, but that's okay. We're gonna add a little white. Use less blue this time. Pink. Some of the bronze. pink. Just a little bit of the blue. Some gold. put some white over the top. All right, so let's pour out some base coat. Gonna get a little pop to the air bubbles. Dump this right here in the middle. And I'm just gonna let all this paint seep to the bottom. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a little poke in the bottom of the cup too.
All that paint is oozing out now. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift and lip. Give this a little torch. But she wants to have gold be very prominent in here. So I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna drag some gold through anyways. So maybe if I just kinda like do that. Not gonna do too much. All right, let's start tilting this out. really wish I wouldn't have done that with the gold. I should have let the gold do that on its own. But I'm loving the cool effects I got here, but I definitely want to uh, do this again and not put the gold lines through there. They just didn't work out. Too much gold happening over here. It needs to be a little more subtle. It needs to be more gold in the pour. So I am going to re-pour this. So I'm gonna layer some white. Loving the blue, I'm loving the pink. I need more pink in there because she wants pink. And I think the blue was perfect. So we are gonna do more, more, more pink. Put that heavy in there. Also heavy on the gold. Flip again. Give a little poke in the cup. That'll help release that paint. Starting to ooze out. I 
think I'm gonna go like this. Torch. So I don't want that gold, so let's get that out of here. Loving the effects now that I've got. Let's bring this back down a little bit. Now we're talking. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm loving everything about this. This is really, really cool. I'm loving how the wrecked goes. There's gold. Still not sure this is going to be enough gold for her. Um, but I'm going to let it dry, of course, and show her and see what she thinks because this is a good stepping stone. Now I know... As far as layering the paints, the good layers, bad layers, what to do, and how much more to do of each color. So, let me clean up edges, clean up the sides, torch, now bring you guys in. All right, here we are with the wet result. 
I'm loving the effects of this. This pour is really cool. Um, not sure if it's going to be what she wants. It might not even be the greatest uh, pour for her. Um, she might be looking for more definitive gold lines and more pink in there. But I can always add more for the next time. So I'm going to let it dry, see how she likes it. So let me bring you in here. All right, we'll see what this dries. I'll be right back. Here we go, the dried result. It's pretty much dry. It's a little tacky in the center, but it really came out great. The colors are beautiful, and I'm really hoping my friend likes this. So let me bring you in. I'll show you the dried result. Okay, everyone, it dried fantastic. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna show my friend uh, probably tomorrow because I've made a second one because I wanted to use different layers of color. So that one is drying. I'll do another video for that one as well. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, she likes the colors and she likes this sort of uh, marbling effect and we'll go from there. If not, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. <laughs> All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Thank you, Mina, for being a part of this. This was so much fun. All right, everyone, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That'll let you know when I do post new video content, and I will see everybody in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.